Mainers battle another day of 90 degree heat in a state where a number of buildings do not have air conditioning. Yeah, NECN's Justin Vladkowski has more on the heat's continuing impact and how some people are trying to cope at one beach and found an unpleasant surprise. For a second day, people could come to this Portland ice rink to cool off. The city opening it as a cooling center after days of stifling temperatures above or near 90. There were a few people who did that throughout the day Tuesday, sitting on the bleachers overlooking the rink. But while we were here, the skaters outnumbered them. I usually skate every Tuesday, if not more often, but it was just an absolute blessing that I could be at an ice rink instead of outside in the heat. Lori Green was one of the people practicing on the ice. Something refreshing, she says, since only one room in her house has AC from the first air conditioner she's ever needed, bought just a year ago. The chilly rink is but a temporary escape from the heat. It does have an impact on me. I work a lot of night shifts, so trying to sleep during the day in the heat is, uh, is a bit of a challenge. People trying to chill out on certain beaches in southern Maine found the cooling off part easier using cold June water. But when some of them in York, Agunquit and Wells looked down at their feet, they found a black residue. Yesterday there was just some black along the shores of York Beach and then when I got back to Libby's campground where I'm staying, I had some black on my feet. The people next door to us asked us if we had seen any of the black and I said actually I have some on my feet and they said that theirs was all covered and they were washing with soap and water and trying to get it off. With baby wipes, Kim was able to get her feet back to normal and it didn't stop her from returning to York Beach Tuesday. That said, the town of York says Maine's DEP told them it's looking into the residue that was on the sand, collecting samples to identify a cause, but they don't think it's oil or petroleum based. What didn't deter me? I'm happy that they're looking at it. They should look into it because I think we need to know the information to, you know, diminish everybody's concerns. In York, Dustin Lukowski, NECM.